Sheldon Sr., an advanced journalism student, reporting to you from downtown Greenville, Pennsylvania, a town not even of 6,000 residents. It may be small, but it has a big heart and even bigger hopes and dreams. Greenville is a small western town nestled 70 miles northwest of Pittsburgh and southeast of Cleveland, Ohio. Community volunteers have created scenes such as this art mural showcasing what the area has to offer. This group of art lovers, comprised of Women's Action Group, volunteers, artist Barry Breen, and Mr. Ben Beck, Fresh Grounds Art Director and Managing Officer of the Chamber of Commerce. Their hope was to create beautiful community space, and they did just that. Other community volunteers have also been busy. Fundraising has been actively going on to enable the community pool to be reopened after closing over a decade ago. Volunteers also completely redid Greenville's Riverside Park Playground to ensure safe fun for the local children. Fresh Grounds, the local coffee shop run by Downtown Ministries, has brought the community together by allowing them to enjoy music, art, poetry, and even just the love of coffee itself. Greenville is mostly comprised of the young and the old. This graph illustrates the importance of the town concentrating on active community building activities to keep residents local. So whether it is a new playground for grandparents to take their grandchildren or new festivities such as last year's first Oktoberfest on Main downtown, the community is growing strong by coming together. Community editor here at the Record Argus, I've seen a number of changes go on throughout the community. Um, a number of folks have commented about the growth that has been taking place in the community, um, projects that are taking place to better the community, not only for the residents who are here now, but um, those who may be coming and those who are going to stay, uh, graduates from Teal and the families that are here now who are raising their children in Greenville. Um, through just the past two and a half years, I've seen a number of businesses um, open up downtown, uh, encouraging new entrepreneurs to grow, um, and a number of people taking pride in the community, offering uh, suggestions to making the community better, including the Riverside Playground Project and the Railroad Park uh, Restoration Project, both uh, headed up by community members who are taking pride in the community. I think it's important to take pride in your community, um, especially in a place like Greenville, because there aren't very many small towns left um, that convey that sense of community and camaraderie and uh, essentially neighborhood. So um, I, I believe that the residents, the businesses are all on the right track in making sure that uh, Greenville gets to where it needs to be, uh, not only in the near future, but also in the distant future as well. Greenville has not only been just concentrating on beautifying town and creating community spaces, the community also realizes the importance of ensuring businesses stay afloat as well as bringing new businesses in. One huge change, business-wise, will be the upcoming Greenville Neuromodulation Center. This center hopes to become a front-runner in research and treatment for neurological diseases. Teal College, located in Greenville, has played a huge role not only in this center, but many other events and upcoming attractions in Greenville as well. Beck stated, when you are at the bottom, there is only one place to go, and that is up. I think that there are a lot of positive changes that are happening through the strengthening relationship between Teal College and the community. Beck also stated, quote, I think that something that is critical is our ability to plan for the future. Greenville has been able to get through a really tough period, but if the growth that is currently happening is going to be sustained and we really want to shore up our community as a place where people want to be, we have to plan ahead and not just for tomorrow. I think a lot of this needs to happen through our city council and our borough manager. We have the opportunity right now with the resurgence of life and seeing light at the end of the tunnel to be two steps ahead and not two behind. This town refuses to give up. It may be a slow battle, but it is determined to bring the community together and win the war of small towns going under. This has been Jennifer Kaler reporting Downtown Greenville.